a person of great influence and a saint in our day. Have any of you known someone who has been canonized a saint? Mother Teresa was canonized in 2016. That made her in the Catholic Church a saint. Back when she passed in 1997, I was part of a team that put together the information that started that beatification process. Over the years that I lived in San Diego, I spent many hours with Mother Teresa, working with the Missionaries of Charity and directly with her also. As we started this process, back in, it was, I think, 1998 that we actually started the process. I helped the priest put together the whole computer structure of files that we needed to really start collecting information. And as I thought about the interaction that I had with Mother Teresa back in those years, I remember looking at the speech that she gave when she received the Peace Prize from the Nobel Organization. And her speech began by saying, and I'm going to be reading this particularly, uh, don't have it on the top of my head. Let us all together thank God for this beautiful occasion where we can all together proclaim the joy of spreading peace, the joy of loving one another, and the joy of acknowledging that the poorest of the poor are our brothers and sisters. And as we gather here to thank God for this gift of peace, I have given you all a prayer for the peace that St. Francis of Assisi prayed many years ago. And I wonder, he had must have felt the need, what we feel today to pray for, right? So she had this printed up, the prayer of St. Francis, and given to everyone that was present at that event, and ask them to recite this together, right? So the prayer is, Lord, make me a channel of your peace, that where there is hatred, I may bring love, that where there is wrong, I may bring the spirit of forgiveness, that where there is discord, I may bring harmony, that where there is error, I may bring truth. So as this prayer continued on, she had every one of those people reciting that prayer. How powerful. How inspiring that that must have been. I wish I could have been there at that situation. Over the time that I spent around Mother Teresa, I listened to many words that she had spoken to us. We had many times that we would come together as a group and she would talk to us. And her message was always, love one another. Right? And she always said for those people who were married to always pray together and love one another. So her message was always loving one another. That's the, the last, the, the, the commandment that we were given was love one another. And she did that. I think about the time that I spent around her and think sometimes about the saints and that I had spent time around this person that had been canonized a saint. And when you think about what it would be like to be with a person like that, 
I had an opportunity to do that. I, that was part of my experience of life. And I can see now it's given me a better understanding of the saints of the past and people that were around them and people that spoke with them, listened to them directly and how that influenced them because I know how it influenced me. And I know how it influenced the people that were around me that were in those rooms where she was at and where she spoke. So people who have had impacts on our lives, on the lives of society are many. And Mother Teresa, now Saint Teresa of Calcutta, had impact on the world, had a tremendous impact on the world and on many, probably millions of people individually. I know what her impact was on me. I know what her impact was on many people around me that were around her also. So when you look at the saints, think about some of the stories of those people. Some of you may have come around different elements from Mother Teresa being in San Diego. And think about how that affected the town. Think about how that affected the people around there. The mother house of the Missionaries of Charity, which is down in National City, is a place that is a little bit obscure in one sense, but ubiquitous in another. Because it affects people all over, not over the city of San Diego and Tijuana, but all over the world. Affecting lives everywhere. St. Teresa of Calcutta. Back to you, Jerry. 